Uh, is this the last weekend of the fair? I'm asking you, you Jesse. You must be asking someone that has brains. I know, you're not, I know you're not looking at me. I'm not sure, to be honest with you. Huh, okay. You uh, the last there. day is Sunday. They just told me in my ear. So I was correct. Yeah, I don't know. I was correct when I asked my question yeah, that showed I'm I didn't know. I'm glad you could do that to yourself. Yeah. So this is the final wow. weekend of it. And, you know, this, this is the final weekend? Yeah. Wow. So you got to take the kids back out. Have you taken your kids? Absolutely. Not. Absolutely not. Uh, you've been out there, though. <laughs> I have, yeah. I what have. a dad. It was really nice. Um, I had a good time. <laughs> it was quiet. So the good thing is, <laughs> that's mean. Uh, so the good thing is, is that, you know, people who've been there this whole time, like, it's been really nice yeah. this stretch, this it time. Uh, they don't always get the best weather out no, there. No, I recall, you know, I've been here at WFAA for seven years now, and I remember most of Wow, it, it seems it, much longer. feels much longer. Mm. Uh, it seems like most times it's raining. Yeah. You know? You but know it doesn't rain here anymore. October is supposed to be one of our second rainiest month, is it not? God, I could do your good job. for you, Jason. I could easily do your job. That was really impressive. So easy. Here, go ahead, try it. Okay, you're looking out from Cedar Hill. That's our tower cam there. I think we've got a bird up there on that camera. Uh -huh. uh, 93 right now outside, just well above normal. Mm -hmm. uh, dew point at 42, which means it feels fairly comfortable. Humidity 17. Ragweed and mountain cedar still really high, though. Uh -huh. A lot of people suffering from that, I know. Oh, yeah. uh, elm in there in the mix, as well as fungus, which is low. People. Yeah. Yeah. Here's a forecast. There's a sucker born every minute. Just made him do one minute of my job. <laughs> and the paycheck won't change. I Got did it him. for the people, uh, Jesse. They want nothing to do with you. 92 <laughs> degrees tomorrow. Another very warm day tomorrow. Sunday, 89 degrees. But one really nice thing, even though it's been very warm, is the mornings will be still kind of on the cool side. So if you're like my dad uh, and you go on your morning walks every morning at like 6 a.m., it's going to feel good. 63 uh, Saturday morning, 64 Sunday morning. Clear skies. Across most of the state yet again. I want to go down to the south, though. Here it is. Hurricane Norma. Once a Category 4 with gusts up to 160. Still a very strong hurricane. Category 3 with gusts up to 130. Uh, I show you this because some of the moisture from this will give parts of Texas some rain as another cold front moves in our direction. So you'll see it starts to weaken uh, as we go through the weekend. There it goes. 6 p.m. Saturday uh, into Monday. A little bit of moisture will try to drift our direction. but It's not what we need. We need a lot more rain than we're going to get next week, but some scattered showers, a couple thunderstorms are possible Monday, just a 20% coverage. Uh, and then on Tuesday, we'll see more cloud cover lift into the area. The heaviest rain on Tuesday looks to be out in the panhandle, uh, not here in North Texas, but western portions of North Texas, some scattered showers and storms. There's Wednesday morning, more scattered rain into the afternoon and evening, mainly west. Highest coverage, highest totals will be in western portions of north Texas and especially the panhandle. This area of Texas will get quite a bit of rain and they need it too, just like we do. Uh, there's for, uh, Thursday into Friday, about a 30% coverage will continue. As this system and the cold front eject into the plains in the Midwest by the end of the week, cooler temperatures and continuing chances for scattered showers and storms. So tonight is just clear, dry, cool with light winds, southeast winds 5 to 10, 63 degrees. Uh, tomorrow, 92. Some of you will be warmer than that. And I'm going to look at some new data here. I may up this temperature a little bit just based on how uh, we overachieved today. It's already 93 at DFW. Light winds tomorrow, but Sunday it gets a little breezy. 89 degrees on Sunday. There's the pattern change trying to take shape next week. Uh, we'll see temperatures slowly drop off into the low 80s through the middle part of the week and then 70s by Friday. And then beyond that, it looks to get a little bit cooler, too, just in time for Halloween. Still no major changes right now to the Halloween forecast. It looks like we'll have highs in the middle 60s with a little chance of rain. I don't want anybody to be deceived either. You see all those rain icons and, uh, you know, look at the, the percentages, 30 percent. It's not what we need. But we'll take what we can get, Jason. Next week looks nice, though. It does look nice. Would you like we... to read that part of the forecast? No, would you like to read my tease here, though? No, sorry, I'm busy uh, over here. Thank I you. did all your work. 